okay next we have it render maps render maps is very useful and when i'm using filter force textures for the creating on the models this is where you have all this magic on a texture has happened so let's as example let's select one texture and now if we go to render maps you notice we have a different type we has diffuse map or it's a surface image which apply all this color on the surface and you see how the different because we don't have it right now lighting specker we don't even have it bump map applied to this image so just flat color image okay also we have it next bump map which is applied and um, you can set this bump maps texture to whatever you want to achieve effect and again it's well done in the filter editor we also have it a normal map and a normal map it's allowed you to um, produce properly positioning of your textures the normal maps uh, norm you want to preset negative or positive depend which one you're using and uh, just overall till we touching normal maps let me show you it's located in the um, tools options okay we're going to render tab right here will be your map uh, generation and normally i set opengl negative y because i'm using or with maya or with vue or other applications if you in game developing and using direct x style you probably want to switch to positive y again we'll look a little bit more on this one okay next you'll have it your specular string and this is all different type of the maps that um, you can apply it and i recommend you if you have questions how those maps are working with a, your specific um, goal on your texture and your models or other things check our other tutorials where we're using on real life projects by creating different type of maps saving them and creating textures or also check the documentation uh, manual that come with a filter forge that is actually explained very well what is all of these maps will do Okay, so next um, let's go ahead and in the tools in tools you have it options update which will check to for update for all of your application filter update and as example let's click on update filter you will notice right now it's gone line and check what is all filters was updated so it's find any filters in my library so example i can click on a bad robot see what is update was modified and just downloaded this filter to my library okay notification tell me it's everything was updated okay also we have the hdri import hdri import it's help you to create nice um, lighting environment for your textures and uh, in uh, some tutorials we actually will create it our own hdri lighting file will import and we'll use the on the textures on property lighting so when we create textures into our application mostly if you're doing with games and other things our texture will lighting perfectly with the right positions and light amount of the ambient lighting again um we won't do right now it's take some time actually to import this file so be sure you have a very good machine to do this.